this problem, we're looking at a value of x where the series converges. So the same thing as last problem, well, we take the ratio test here, limit as x as n approaches infinity. The absolute value of x to the n over n plus 3 times, well, n plus 2 over x to the n minus 1. So we're just flipping this term upside down, switching its numerator and denominator to get this term, and multiplying that with the uh, a n plus 1 term. So simplifying this, we have limit as n approaches infinity of x times n plus 2 over n plus 3. And this basically simplifies down to a term limit as n approaches infinity x. So we know that right away that absolute value of x must be less than 1 to converge. And so that means, just like our last problem, x must be less than 1 and greater than uh, negative 1. So to find the interval of convergence, we have to not only get this general interval, but we have to check at each bound whether it converges or diverges. So we see if we can actually set x equal to 1 or negative 1. So let's go ahead and check at uh, negative 1, x at negative 1, we have the series becomes well, 1, plugging in x equals negative 1 into our original uh, series and applying the iterated n terms. So we have 1 over 3 minus uh, negative 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus negative 1 over 6 and so on. And we see that this equals 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. And this diverges. And let's look at, at x equals 1. And the series becomes 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 6. So this is actually an alternating uh, convergent series. So this part converges. And together, we have an interval of convergence. Well, at negative 1, uh, x cannot equal negative 1 because it diverges. So it must be greater than negative 1. But however, at 1, it converges. So x can equal 1. So here is our final answer to our question. The interval of divergence of convergence is the values of x where x is less than or equal to 1 and greater than negative 1. So as long as x is anywhere in between, so x can be 0 or 1 for this whole series to converge. Uh, so that was a look at the power series and its convergence properties. So thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.